Good evening. My name is Frank Weber, and I will be conducting this interview. My partner, Kyle, will be the one answering the questions. First and foremost, do you give me permission to record this conversation? Yes. Okay, let's begin. The first question is, how are Muslim women, or Middle East women in general, represented in the media, commercials, art, or literature? Since 9-11, Western media portrays most Muslims to be looked at with fear by many other Americans. They are stereotyped into being a terrorist, even though this isn't true. But the media today implants that idea into the American population's heads, so they don't have any other ideas to think about. Movies and TV shows often make many jokes about this topic, which enforces this idea into the heads of all the American population. Okay, good answer. Next question is, what means should be followed, <clears throat> I'm sorry, which means should be followed to empower women in general or in the Middle East? In the U.S., they should be given more opportunities here with jobs and education and have more freedom. They shouldn't be looked down upon because of what they wear. Like, for instance, the hijab is their choice and their culture. But many Americans think that they're being forced to wear it, which doesn't look good. Okay, good answer. And the last question, who is the most famous or influential Muslim women you may know? The most famous Muslim woman I know is Malala, who is a girl that got shot in the head by the Taliban because she stood up for women's educations. She survived this though and is now a global symbol for peaceful protest and the youngest person ever to be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. All right, thank you, Kyle, for your time.